It's your boy Fabulous here, man. We back in Brooklyn. I'm gonna walk y'all through the Brooklyn Museum. Go check out some cool stuff. Basquiat exhibit, bunch of dope stuff. So y'all come along. We're gonna check it out. You gotta give me credit. I take cash. Yeah, we take cash. These old try to live off their old bodies. These young think they're killing with nobody. I read a little to his his story. That's yeah. why I, I didn't know much of his art story, but I. Yeah. Um, you know. He died at the age of uh, 27, mm -hmm. and so he, he left school, dropped out of school, and created hundreds, hundreds of paintings, thousands of drawings. In the late 1970s, he was doing this writing with another collaborator, Al Diaz, under the tag, Samo. He noticed in some of those pages where he's crossing out words mm -hmm. um, that he said that he would do that so you'd pay more attention to them. Looking good has a sacrifices. Chilly weather bring four figure jacket prices. I see a lot that would have been like one liners or like, you know, punch lines and sometimes a lot of the work too feels like spills, like he absorbs whatever he's going through or seeing and thrusting it and now he just Spills it out right. from his expression. Yeah. 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 My current situation, a situation. My current situation. Some of the pieces that I loved in the Basquiat exhibit was some of the notebooks. You know, it, it kind of, in a funny way, gives a background to the art. His instrument of change, too, his, uh, whether it was crayon, whether it was paint, whether it was pens. It was interesting in the video too, he kind of like, I think they, I heard him say he kind of like managed himself, which you don't really see sometimes a lot with artists because they just like to be about the art. They don't like to be about the business of art or the negotiation of art. A little fun fact was that I actually went to art and design high school. That's where I kind of got introduced to different ranges of art. You know, I had started out, like I said, I just used to freehand draw and, or comic book figures and characters. But it was a little intimidating for me because it was like, you know, I was drawing, you know, Batman and somebody next to me was drawing like the whole class, you know what I'm saying?